welcome back to another video in this video we will just simulate and we'll see the star versus what is the speed characteristic of synchronous machine and i am taking the synchronous machine that is for per unit and this is fundamental one right okay so i have already built this circuit if you want to know how you will build the circuit i will make another video and put the link in the description so let's just see how the each components behave and how each components uh, has certain parameters so all of the components you will find by just clicking on the library browser and just type all these components names so this is my synchronous machine's fundamental and it is per unit you can also find the si fundamental block as well so right double click on this and make its parameter change just preset model is no and the mechanical input is mechanical power in pm and salient all type total parameter just change the power to uh, 100 megawatt mva the voltage to 11 kva kilowatt and the frequency to 50 hertz and the rest of parameter as keep as it by default and for the load flow just take as the general type pv okay click okay okay now for the load double click on this and the load is three phase rlc load so the type of load is constant c any constant ampere load and the parameter r is the voltage is 11 kilo volt and the frequency is 50 and the active power is 40 megawatt and the active power that is q load is 50 15 megawatt mega or right click okay and this will be measurement block that will measure the voltage in current that are three phase voltage in three phase current okay this is my bus selector that will uh, create the outputs from created, uh, uh, created by this synchronous machine so double click on this and just take the these are the components you can add by just clicking on this and you can say that select it will come over here and if you want to remove you can also by just click on this and click on remove so i have already taken the mechanical output active power output reactive power and the mechanical loader speed these are taken from this window right okay now this is the constant power that is i am in per unit i am what's up giving to my synchronous machine and this value in per unit is 0.00425 and this second is the excitation voltage and in per unit its value is 1.29 approximately okay now it's all done just run this for time of 2 seconds here the simulation time is done now just click to see the torque output and the reactive power so this is my output the reactive power It's as it can be seen, and this is my the output reactive power as it can be seen, and this is my the rotor speed. At the beginning, the rotor speed is very high, and this is that that is gradually decreases. And how you get all these three? Like how you will edit the scope for this? Go to View, Configuration Properties, and make the number of outputs three, and the layout select all these three layers. Right? Now, if you want to see. the three phase voltage and three phase current just double click on the scope and you will find the upper one is three phase measurement voltage and it can be seen and the second one is the three a uh, three phase current here is the voltage each a uh, voltage has a magnitude of uh, approximately 1 uh, uh, per unit and its angle is difference is by the phase angle between them is 120 degree and the behavior of my current of the synchronous machine or synchronous generator you can see so this was a simple video how you will simulate the synchronous machine i will also make another video that will design this synchronous machine step by step and i i, I will also put the description the protection of this machine so for that uh, keep tuned and just subscribe to my channel thank you so much